Hello, this is Ty Cavados from Life Ionizers, and today I'll be showing you the ball wire test. We'll be going over the different ball wires that are available to you in your local stores and going over the pH levels of them and really seeing how this affects your body. Um, pH levels as far as acidity can be caused from any number of factors as far as the water you drink, the food you eat, and the stress you come in contact with on a daily basis. Our pH in our body should be around a 7.4 when we're healthy. Most Americans have about a 6.4 and somebody who's undergoing any kind of stress or sickness is usually in the 5 range. And how the pH scale works, it works in logarithms similar to earthquakes to where 6.4 is 10 times more acidic than 7.4 and then 5.4 say in a normal in a sick person would be at 100 times more acidic than 7.4. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, test the various pHs and test the power of the alkaline water. Here we have the Carlsbad tap water that comes with uh, free with fluoride, chlorine, and a bunch of other great stuff. This very popular soda here. Number two selling bottled water on the market. Is that? Swirl around a little bit, get the color coming out. There we go. The number one selling bottle of water on the market. There's that. There we go, got a nice color out of that. Another very popular ball water, once again. There we go. pH regenerate drops are showing us the pH through color, by the way. We'll be showing you the graph here in a second. It's a green. We have a very popular sports hydration drink here. There we go. And here is a pH indicator strip, which via the color is gonna show us what the pH level of the water is that we're testing. The tap water over here, as we can see, is a very deep green, which is about a seven pH, which is neutral. And then we have the soda here, which is a red pH, which is off the chart on the acidic end, which is about a 2.5 pH. Then we have the bottled water here, which is an orange. We're looking at about the 3.75 range. And then the second bottled water here, that's a deeper orange, so we're more into the acidic range of about 3.5. And then we have the other bottle of water here, which you can see by the color is around a neutral, which is around 7 pH. And then we have the sports hydration here, drink here, which uh, is about, a, looks like to be about a 3 pH to a 2.5 pH. And now we're gonna test as far as how much alkaline water it'll take to offset the pH of the various drinks we have in front of us. Here we go. It's the tap water, turns to a nice purple. This is the soda. You can pour all day, that's not gonna change. Here's the bottled water. Nice purple. Second bottled water. Nice purple. And the third bottled water. There we go. And once again, the sports hydration drink. Now we can see the tap water is now a, uh, looks like to be about a 9.5 to a 10 pH by using the alkaline water. And the soda here remains unchanged, remains at about a 3 pH. The second bottled water here, we're looking about a uh, 10 plus pH on there, because it's a little bit lighter. There we go, that looks to be about a 9.5 pH. We go again roughly at about a 9.5 pH. And this one right here is still uh, 2.5 to a 3 pH. 
So what does that tell us? Most of the stuff that we can buy at the store is gonna be harmfully acidic to our body. It's gonna throw our body's chemistry off and uh, shows us really how powerful the alkaline water here is and how little of it it's gonna take to go ahead and pH balance not only the water you're drinking, but your body. So think if you were drinking half your body weight in ounces, how far reaching the health benefits would be in, in case you wanted to be a 7.4 rather than a 6.4. Now that we've established the various pH values of the waters that we can buy at your local store, I'm sure you're as shocked as I am that what's being sold to us as healthy is actually hurting us. Here at Life Ionizers, we hope the information that we've given you today is going to help you make a better decision on what you're going to put in your bottle tomorrow.